Got another question here on the buffer solutions topic, so we're up to number five now. There it is there, so if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so like I always do when we have questions like this, we talk about the key components of a buffer being a weak acid and the conjugate base. So the weak acid in this case is butanoic acid and the conjugate base will be the butanoate ion. So if you think about the reaction that takes place between butanoic acid and sodium hydroxide, it's this one here. So we're making sodium butanoate and water. So within that, we have got the butanoate ion and we have got a weak acid. So all we need to do is establish whether at the end of this reaction, we've got both present. So the first thing I've done is worked out the initial moles of the two chemicals, so the butanoic acid and the sodium hydroxide, so just concentration times volume in decimeters cubed. So we've got this number of moles of butanoic acid, this number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So the next thing we need to do is work out the final moles, so the moles left at the end of the reaction. So this is the limiting reagent, there's the fewest moles of sodium hydroxide, there'll be none of that left they will make the same number of moles of the salt, the conjugate base. So we're going to have 0.0025 moles of salt made. The acids in excess, see that number's bigger than that. It's going to react in a one to one ratio with the sodium hydroxide. So 0.0025 moles of acid will react. So the difference between that and that is what's left. So the important thing is that we have got both key components present at the end of the reaction We've got the weak acid and we've got the conjugate base in the form of this um, sodium butanoate. So yes, a buffer will form. Okay, so moving on to part B now, we've got to calculate the pH of the buffer. So you can see I've written up my Cassid over salt expression. So the H plus concentration of the buffer is equal to the Ka for the weak acid multiplied by the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration. So we were given the Ka for the acid. It is 1.51 times 10 to the minus 5. So we need to multiply that by the acid concentration. Well, we've got the moles of acid that are left at the end of the reaction. The total volume that the everything's in is going to be the combined volume of the two solutions. So remember, it was 50 cm cubed of acid was react with 50 cm cubed of sodium hydroxide and so therefore the total volume is going to be 100 cm cubed, not 0.1 decimeters cubed. So the concentrations therefore the moles over the volume, so that's why that's there. So we're going to divide that by the salt concentration. So there's the moles of salt, remember they're also in that 0.1 decimeters cubed volume. So that gives us an H plus concentration in the buffer of 6.04 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed. So all we need to do now is minus log that to get the pH. We get a calculator value for the pH of that and it wants it to two decimal places which is 4.22. Now just quickly going back to this stage here. Now technically you could use the mole ratio 0.01 over 0.0025 because they're both in the same volume but I always get my students to work in concentrations because that's what's in the Cassidover salt expression. So that's why I did that.